what happened when I suddenly switch off the aircon in this hall? I believe that many of us will get uncomfortable and hot, right? So this is what we call as the effect of global warming, which is due to the excessive emission of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. This phenomenon is also led to other disasters such as flood, uh, droughts, health problem, and rising of sea level. That's why you can see a family of polar bears in the right there because of the annual place to go for them. So the primary reason of this phenomenon is also comes from the human activities involved in the combustion of petrol. And the problem now is how we reduce the carbon dioxide. And they are unable to deal with this. And one of this is by capture the carbon dioxide and convert it to other valuable gases. However, my research focuses on converting the carbon dioxide to methane. In fact, methane can be further transformed into petrol. In order to do this, I need a material called catalyst, which can be used to increase the conversion of carbon dioxide to methane. Presently, there are many types of catalysts which has been tested, but I'm not looking to those catalysts individually, because more importantly is by knowing the characteristic of good catalysts. High surface area is one of them, in which high surface area can serve many sites to convert carbon dioxide to methane. Thus, using this key point, I have invented a new material called mesosulfate silicon nanoparticle. In short, we call it MSN which has surface area around 1,040 meters squared area per gram. I use MSN as a support for nickel catalyst in the conversion of carbon dioxide to methane, and it shows an excellent result. I also compared it with other conventional catalysts, and MSN is always on top than others. Within my scope of study, and based on my result, I have come to the conclusion, and I believe MSN can be an excellent candidate to be used as a support for nickel catalyst in the conversion of carbon dioxide to methane. Lastly, for the future, for the sake of our future generation, I hope our dreams to control the current climate change will become a reality. Thank you.